How big could that be? Three-point game now. Ian Martinez is hawking Terrence Shannon. Shannon's got 17 points, even with a cut above his eye. Hawkins, a couple of crossovers, tries to penetrate, drops it off, reverse for Epps. No, but the putback, yes, and it's Terrence Shannon again. Have got to block him out. He's flying in every time. Coleman Hawkins again creating late clock, but Terrence Shannon there to clean it up. Shannon, not only does he have 19 points, he's got seven rebounds, three assists, a block, and a steal. Mid-range, Young in and out, offensive rebound, Reese, and he sticks it home. A big-time play. The offensive glass, huge for both sides. Julian Reese, that's his second basket of the night. None bigger than that one. 17,000 on their feet. Hawkins in the lane, got it to go. That is so good by Coleman Hawkins. I mean, seeing the trust that Brad Underwood is putting in his center to just make plays in pick and roll, make plays off the bounce. They're just giving him carte blanche to do whatever out there, and he's delivering. He's played 38 minutes tonight. One Hawkins minute, tries to get the steal there, minute. cannot. And it's an open young, but he missed the three. Illinois still is not led since 14 to 13, but they've got another opportunity here with less than a minute to play. Epps will take it, and the freshman misses. Shannon can't grab the rebound. Maryland's got it. He got a good look. No one picked him up. He was wide open. You look at this shot clock, 12-second difference. I'd play it out. That's what Illinois is going to do. They, they have been pretty effective defensively. It's been tough at times for Maryland to score. I think you trust your defense if you're Illinois right here. Kevin Willard had two timeouts left. He takes one of them. So one timeout remaining for each team. We came on the air and told you this is a top 25 battle in the conference opener that should be a great matchup, and it has lived up to the billing. It's totally delivered. It's been like a prize fight back and forth. Talked about the runs in the first half. Illinois fought back to get in this game. Tough environment. A hot team in Maryland that's found their way into the top 25. This has been a blast. It has been. You have to think for the Maryland Terrapins right now, it's going to be Jameer Young or it's going to be Dante Scott. Either one of those guys are going to be tasked with creating. If it's not there for them, make a play for somebody else. Oh, don't forget about Hakeem Hart, who has 17 as well tonight. But Young has been the leader. The Charlotte transfer has 21 for Maryland. 67-66. And if you're Brad Underwood, what are you telling your team in that huddle, huddle, Rob? Well, certainly we have to defend without fouling. We have got to corral and keep Julian Reese off the offensive glass. He's so good at getting offensive rebounds. But just be solid. Stay to our principles. We're not gambling. I think you have to assume whether it's a J Jameer Young pick and roll or a Dante Scott clear out to get to that right hook. You've got options if you're Kevin Willard. Illinois in this half has tied the game twice. Three different times they've been within a single point, including right now, but they have yet to take the lead. Right now, Maryland trying to expand on their one-point advantage. Hart gets it into Young. Here we go. Young attacks on the baseline. Cut off. Back to Hart. Around the arc it goes. Young, five to shoot. He puts it up from deep. He got it! Jameer Young with ice water in his veins. Two possession game. <laughs> Illinois has one timeout, but down four. Hawkins, fade away. No. Reese with a rebound and a foul with 7.2 on the clock. Jameer Young, Rob, said he came home to the D.C. area for games and moments like this, and what a big shot it was. Welcome to College Park, Jameer Young transferring in, and at the end of the game, tasked with winning that thing. He just made a play. It's a simple pick and roll. He 
Reed comes off this thing. Julian Reed's going to set it. Danger's back. That is such a big time play by a guy who scored it at a high level at Charlotte. But you have to think that is one of the biggest shots of his career. Yeah, 20 a game at Charlotte. Tonight, 24 points. He's hit four three-pointers. He has done it all. I mentioned he went to Fame to Math, a high school a couple miles from here so that his friends and family could watch him play. He transferred to Maryland to finish his college career, and boy, he's been sensational and likely hit the game winner on that last shot. We talked about this morning off air, Brandon, about how we were going to find out a lot about Maryland in the, in the next two weeks. And this is quite the start because Illinois is a fabulous team. They've gone toe to toe with the fighting Illini. And at the end of the game, Jameer Young delivering at the highest level. Well, tonight it's been an atmosphere that has rivaled any. And Maryland is seven seconds away from getting to 8 0 in the first year under Kevin Willard. Right now they got Julian Reese at the line for two. Illinois is out of timeouts. Kevin Willard, 12 years at Seton Hall, NCAA tournament, five of the last seven years, would have been six if not for the COVID year. He said he wanted to get Maryland back to where they were a couple of seasons ago when they won a Big Ten championship. And they're close to an 8 0 start. Pass up ahead, Shannon somehow corrals it, but it won't matter. Maryland is 8 0, and they win the conference opener against Illinois.